Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a shorter video and we have no custom courtiers because of it. Uh, but just thought it would be better to have this video than have no video at all. Which is what's been happening the last couple of days. Uh, I had some problems with another game where mods uh, was crashing a lot. So Anyway, uh, let's get on with it. What are we doing? We have open council positions. We have people we can imprison, don't want to imprison them. And we have important decisions to go on a reaving. Yep, not going to do any of that. We have a lot of children and we're pregnant again. Our husband is still hanging around. I think we're planning on attacking Stone Tree at some point. Yeah, but we don't quite have enough men. We need about 2.6k. We have 2.7. So I'm going to let time move on. I'm going to talk about the custom courtiers uh, while it becomes winter. But yeah, the custom courtiers. I think we have about 10 to 15 left. So about a week and a half's worth of courtiers are left. So if you're waiting for one, it's probably in that group. I did go through and I made like refresh the list, got as many as I could, and uh, I've started making them kind of off camera, but impl I still have to implement them before the videos, but uh, yes. You can, there's no way, way around that unless I know what actual time in the, the game it ends, because age has kept a little bit weird in the um, save file, so age is kept by birth date, and then it calculates the age, instead of just having an age kind of modifier you can have in there, so it's a little bit weird. Which is also why all the custom courtiers are born on January the 1st. Uh, Morgan Bloodfang is uh, calling in favours. We haven't seen him since he killed... Um, what was his name? Was it... Uh, Roderick? He killed somebody. Uh, Vori's husband. But yes. Interesting. Cool. Um, not much else is really happening in the world. We're just kind of waiting for our army levies to replenish. We might be a good idea to change our guy onto... Um, Train troops instead of train children. How old are our children? He's four. I mean, training troops for a year is probably not going to hurt him. I think if we want to take the land, we need to train some troops. Cool. Uh, Thomas accepted King Lewis of. The, uh, he was a peasant's leader. Yeah, peasant revolt ended. It's come to my attention that the Justicar of Stone Tree, uh, Cotter Greyjoy, is bribed, threatened, and uh, bribed and threatened his way to into my domain. Trying to get enough people to recognize the claim of the title that he is fabricate for his liege, Lord Harren of Stone Tree. Oh dear. Is he going to use it? Harren Horace decided to go ahead and use the claim of my title despite having nothing more than laughable and obviously fabricated document to back it up. So he has a claim on the King of the Iron Isles, the High Lordship of the Sea Stone Isles, and the Lordship of Harlow Hill. That bastard. Indeed. Um, we can get to like 2.7. I guess he may have like lost his other claim because he lost the war. I don't know. I, I'm wondering what he or maybe he declared for something different last time. Um, wait, are we the High Lord of the Sea Stone Isles? No, we're High Lord of Pike. A new Lord Tr Commander on the wall. We have Lord Commander Eden, or Eldon, sorry, and uh, he's just a Stormlander. Nothing really impressive about him. Okay, cool. Oh, I thought I'd time moving there. Uh, Lewis of the Trident said to exile Thomas. Cool, again. I'll try and use a different word next time. Uh, although we don't appear to be getting any more pop-ups. Cool. World's uh, done. I said cool again without meaning it. We do have a son though and that really is cool. Uh, we're going to name him Harren. That seems fine. Everything seems fine about that. Uh, we now have four children. We have um, Urus, Lenwood, Josran and Harren. My beloved uh, mysterious stranger is suffering from his bad marriage with Gwyneth. Perhaps I should suggest a romantic retreat to the countryside. Just the two of us, and our most trusted retainers, of course. Well, we're lustful, so I yearn for his, his embrace. Let's see how it goes. My lover and I spent a few days of romance and passion in the country house far away from the prying eyes of Gwyneth. I am ha I am so happy. Exhausted, too. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, Anyone else we can imprison? No... Is anyone actually at war with anyone right now? Like, the Westlands aren't at war. Westeros is not at war. Stormlands, not at war. Reach, not at war. Dorne, not at war. And Winterfell, not at war. Wow. Nobody's at war. And Trident. I, for I keep forgetting Trident. Little, uh, mo little, little mutants here. They're not at war. Uh, Storm King Kristen of the Stormlands died a natural death. He has passed on all of his titles to his son, Storm King Edric of Stormlands, who is a timid and attractive child. Not you, you shouldn't call a child attractive. 
Uh, that, that gets you on some lists. Uh, but yes, he's probably going to have some claims to his titles. We got Maris, Scalera, Brella, and Liza, who should all have claims. That might cause him some trouble. This past month, your courtier, Gilwood Silverax, has been organizing a reaving. A reaving is announced will travel far to the north in the Shivering Sea, where they will target Lothrathi and Ebony ships. He and his fellow reavers are now ready and have set sail from Harlow Hill on their quest to follow the old way. Do us proud. So it's Gilwood, Harlan, Dennis, Christopher, Eldis, and Harlan are all going. My young courtier has finished her education in bootkeeping and uh, administration. It is evident she is excellent in her, excelled in her studies. Okay, she's a skill steward. Whatever. This pleases me, I guess. I've been spending more time with my husband, Roderick, lately. And though, of course, we did not marry for love, I can tell it's growing between us. Ah, marital bliss. Yes, just after our country house retreat. It bothers me that my liege, King Joffrey III, holds Lord of a Pike when it should rightfully be mine. Well, yes, of course. We'll request it. Lady Melora, I fear you have failed to convince me of the justice of your request. Regretfully, I cannot oblige you. Signed, King Joffrey III of House Lannister. Lost some prestige for that. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, we should probably change from the family focus. I mean, we've done family focus for a while, but I think it might be time to move to seduction. I mean, we are, we do have a lover. I think this might be where we're going with this. I also love that our ambition has been to have a daughter for like three children. We keep getting sons. Seduction. Now, who are we going to seduce? Well, we've already got unknown and there's no point in seducing him. We could raise him to uh, nobility, but I don't think we're quite that charitable just yet. Unless he does something else. We'd probably overly reward him for something, you know, ridiculously simple. Um, Roderick. Can we seduce him? Yeah, let's seduce our husband. Let's see how it goes. I'll just bring all my seduction skills to bear on Lord Roderick till I have him wrapped around my finger. He will be mine. Yeah. Seems reasonable. Definitely. Uh, letters of love. I arrange for a scented le love letter to be left on Roderick's pillow in an attempt to woo him. This seems to have struck true, for he's left one of mine, confessing his attraction to me. Time to up the ante. Okay. How many men do we have now? Uh, 3,000? Oh, a son was born to Ambrod Serpentail, our half-brother, and Yara Merlin, named Hagon. Hagon Serpentail is weak. Uh, did we ever get an alliance with the Merlins? Uh, Ambrode. Ambrode. Uh, well, I suppose we could have packed. We did not get an alliance with the Merlins. Would you give us one? Uh, yes, you would ally with us. That seems like a good idea. We'll form an alliance. Will you accept it? To the lice, Lady Malora. Blessed upon you and your house, I, Lord Ugrin of Black Tide, accept your proposal for an alliance. Good. Fantastic. I made sure to attend this minor event in Harlow Hill so I could seduce Lord Roderick. We've been dancing, conversing all night, and he's clearly responding to my advances. Mead in my room, my lord. I sure know how to cajole men. Roderick and I spent the night making sweet, passionate love in our bed. In the morning, we woke up in a state of bliss. Hmm, well, of course, we'll let our love grow. He is now also our lover. Uh, what sort... Uh, okay, let the say finish. What level of education would you like to purchase for Hadron? Hadron from Volantis was the child of Larian from Volantis. Now, we are charitable, so I think we'll spend highly. Okay, we have a lot of children to do, but that's fine. Uh, so we got 3,000. We could potentially attack here because we also have the Merlin's force, and they give us another 6,000. And they have to join in because it's an alliance, I believe. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Let's declare. Uh, I want Stone Tree. Uh, we're going to call in our allies. He gets an automatic call, I think. Uh, we're going to raise everything that we can. I think he said no as well. That's a little bit annoying. Um, and we'll move, move these over. In fact, you. I'm going to do the same trick I did last time. I'm going to raise the boats. Get you on the boats. Bring you over here. And both of you go there. That's fine. He raises all of his men. To the good Lady Melora, peace be with you. We unfortunately cannot join your wars at this time. Damn. I was worried he'd say no. I thought it was still worth the chance. So get all of our men. We'll merge him up. Who was born there? 
Son was born to Jimmy Greatrion and Dorna named Tom. Tom Greatrion. Okay. Uh, kind of rhymes. Who are we going to have in the center? Well, we're obviously going to have our direct leader, Roderick, our husband in the center. He, yeah, he's, he's by far the best. On one of the sides, we're going to have Danamore, who is just really quite good. And Ugrion will go on the... Oh, he's Craven. I guess we need a new commander. A non-Craven commander. Um, did we give Gilwood something? Oh, he's away. That's why we can't... Oh, I should have waited for him to come back. Ugrion will replace with Habert Arik. Um, Arik's alright. Do we have anyone who's actually got any skills? Not really. Mm, I mean, we've got Larence. Yeah, okay, Larence, you can have it. You've, you're kind of skilled at fighting. I'll put Larence in charge. And then we'll move along. We'll move to Volmark. That's as far as we're going. We'll go to Volmark. We'll wait for our morale to get to absolutely full. Then we will attack. Seems reasonable. Uh, open council position. Septum, do we have anything for that? No. Okay. Um, okay. Anything else? We could get mercenaries, but we can't really afford any. I mean, we could afford some of the cheaper boats. Th th those aren't really things we want. We could afford Dornish Spearmen for one month. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll wait till our morale is absolutely full. Our morale is full. What do we want to do? Well, um, we probably want to stick as much... Last time he had all of his armies in the center. So what we probably want to do is we probably want to do something like this. And buff up our... Ooh, that wasn't what I wanted to send. Let's uh, send him some back. There we go. Probably want to buff up our center flank a little bit. Yeah, okay. That's not too bad. Then we want to go for the back fight. Let's see how it goes. Mm, okay, we are doing all right. Our center flank is holding better this time because we have more men in it. Yeah, now we win. Now the flanking bonus works. I think last time we just lost our center flank too quickly and everything went to hell. No, we should just go siege stone tree. Let's go get it. Our council is discontent. Lord Sebastian of the Straits of Tarth is sort of the High Lordship of Straits of Tarth. He's also a Tarth. Cool. And our Leash Council is discontent. Why is it? Uh, oh, that's our Leash's Council is discontent. I don't care. Okay. That's fine. We'll siege this down. It goes 5.6% every 12 days. It's a little bit slow, but that's alright. He can't do anything about it. Um, yeah. Good. Still 5.7%. My lady, an enemy host approaches, intent on circling the castle. What should we do? Um, I'll send our family into hiding. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow, we're doing very well in this siege. We got it down straight away. We got the number of men in it down. Uh, diplomatic committee law. What the hell is diplomatic committee law? Um, diplomatic committee. They're like realm authority names? I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, there we go. Diplomatic committee law. Council vote on diplomatic actions. Um, I mean, fine. He had to do favors to call that in. Okay, weird. Desmond Gardner died at 21 of poor health. Also, talking of dying, our courtiers who arrived last time have not died and they had a father. That's pretty good. It might have been two times ago. But anyway, they have not died. My liege blessed upon you and your house have discovered a plot where Lormir of Westford seeks to replace us and become regent. We're regent? Oh. I, do, well, I was not aware we were regent. That's alright. Stone tree will fall. Hopefully. Lord Robert II of Wayfarer's Rest has declared Wayfarer's Rest war from Martin's claim on Westeros on King Thurgood of Westeros. Martin someone. We'll look at that next time. Uh, just because it's a bit of a shorter ep um, episode. I didn't really want to do that. I just wanted to see what was going on here. Uh, my lady, the situation looks dire. If no relief comes soon, you could fall into the hands of the enemy. It's time to escape us now. We may not get another chance. Um, I think we want to try and escape. Give me a rope. Yeah. Okay. Bugger. Unknown is no longer a treasurer. Jimmy is no longer just a car. Harris is no longer a maester. Valley is no longer a spy master. Lady Malora has been grasped by an honourable death at the age of 23. She died in battle. Long live Lord Urus. Oh, she, she gained the wounded trait as well. So that means we died from the 10% chance. Oh dear. We will now, if we die now, we'll now play as Lenwood. Best upon you and your house, I've been appointed your regent. 
Your mother, Lady Melora Serpentail, has died. Now it falls upon you to decide whether to make the funeral a big and special event or keep it small and private. Well, given that we're being sieged and I'm in hiding, I think it has to be a private funeral. Just out of um, necessity. Lucerus has died. Oh, right. So that was for Daymore. He got a father and didn't get the uh, insta-death. Okay. Willis died natural death. Hoon died natural death. Okay, so these are the parents of the... Yeah, these are the parents of uh, people who I'd added in previous before I'd added in that new thing where I put fathers in. Okay, well, I hope we siege this quicker. Lord Torwald of Hammerhorn declared Hammerhorn's war for Simon's claim on Great Wick on Prince Norwin of the Gallant. Okay. Good brothers are declaring on the Lannisters. Uh, and someone died. Eldis was slain by Rogo of Bartosh in personal combat. He was married to Shira Perlai, and they did have a child. Okay, well, I did say this was going to be a shorter episode, and it will be. Next time we'll sort out our council. I suspect the best plan here, in terms of how we deal with this, is we attack into the army to break the siege. Then we come back and siege. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.